07 Star Citizens X Wings X speaking. Today we are going to look into one of the most underrated hovercrafts that we have in the game is the Drake Dragonflyer, not just anyone, the Yellow Jacket. And if this video is good for you, helps you, supports you, and you like it, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Now, let's have a look at this beauty. Even in the hull of your, it's an amazing ship. It's a hovercraft and a max speeds to 160 meters. Really cool to go on ground with it and having fun. And of course, if you want to test out stuff, you want to bring your friends. So this is Stanton Security and Logistic Federation that is making this testing here possible. And of course, we did a couple of other shoots while we're preparing for testing the Drake Dragonflies. And here are a couple of informations about Stanton Security and Logistic Federation. We are a casually dedicated org. We are part of the unnamed alliance that gathers and groups up five other orgs. And we try to play this game within all depths and having as much fun as possible. Every field is covered here. And together with the Alliance, we got even more of the games. Why you need an orc? Well, it's good if you wait for the next patch. And for the future game plane, man, you'll need friends. Because the simulation will just get harder. And see, when have you last seen somebody move your favorite ship as a character? That's as well what you have an orc for. And of course, there is all the support, the information, all the gathered knowledge you have to gather as an orc. And it's about having fun. Now, Drake, Dragonfly, Yellow Jacket. Let's look at it. You can see how much it resembles to the Star Wars Imperial Trooper speeder bike and the back. You see the black one, the standard one, and this one is with weapons, and the yellow one is purely a racing ship with a top speed of up to 160, depending on how high you're hovering. As closer to the ground, as faster, as far up as you can, your speed is down to maybe 60 meters per second. So that's something to keep in mind of and of course as closer to the ground as more likely you hit something you don't want to hit the dragonfly is a two-seater as you can see there is the pilot seat and there is a socius so one person can sit in the back and it's actually facing backward this gives you additional firepower to shoot at the enemies that try to catch up onto you or in a race when you want to make sure they do not catch up onto you as simple as usual, your friend is gonna hop onto the back and make sure he doesn't pinch his gun into his back while you're flying together and the other one mounts onto the ship. Best way to mount is from actually port side of the ship. That's as well where the storage is located, a storage that has 125k SCU. And we're ready for a takeoff and try out how it actually does. And what we can and cannot do with it because as we remember the X1 had quite some issues with some stones but let's look at a ship that is a bit longer flight ready than the X1 is. As more you strafe downward the faster your ship gets so you see we are hovering quite high here so this means we are about 60 kilometers and as far the down we push the faster we will get onto it. So we found ourselves here a little mesa to fly around it and test it. Uh, Microtech has some vast open grass spaces where just every now and then some rocks are lurking and trying to kill you from behind, backstab you as much as they can. So it was good. And we see how much more stable this one actually is, how much more safe and secure we can fly even on faster speeds. Now you see I push um, the hover bike down onto the ground and we are a lot faster. You've seen as well how it impact. I hit the ground for a moment with that and we're still flying. So, okay, back to see our fellow friend. It's quite hard. We try to do formation flying with those things, but it's actually 
quite hard to do and to get into rush of the speed is a lot more fun than trying to hold up a formation in that ship. So, summa summarum, the Drake Dragonfly is absolutely amazing and the yellow jacket with his absolutely cool skin is even a better catch to go for. They're quite rare nowadays to get but there are ways of getting it and of course there are people in our org that have these kind of stuff which is just an amazing thing to have. Well so much to the Drake Dragonfly yellow jacket and how much we enjoyed this testing in this afternoon and trying out to leap and to jump and to race as fast as we can. Thank you for watching 07 Star Citizens.